Alrighty, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Last time we left off, we were supposed to go to England. But first, I believe I have something in my inventory here that reminded me of something. And it was this thing. A bloody key. The key to Sulk's chest. His shop is near Stavanger's western exit. I think, I'm pretty sure I forgot to uh, look for this thing. So, uh, we're going to do that, hopefully real quick, I don't know, because <laughs> uh, honestly I don't really know what, well, actually, it did say western exit, so that means it would have to be on the left side of the map, if I know my directions. Uh, I haven't been exploring outside in a while, and uh, I would think I know how to read a map, but it has been... A few years since I've been in school and stuff, but I'm pretty sure West is on the left. But we're gonna try to get there, and hopefully this loading screen doesn't last forever. All right, there we go. So we look at the map here. I want to say it's somewhere over here. I don't know what these stairs are. So let me take a look again. It says the key yeah, yeah this shop is near Stavanger's western exit. You know I probably could have used it like as soon as I had killed him but I just I, I didn't realize I picked up a key. Are they freaking out because I'm running? Gotta get my cardio in. Anyway, let's see uh, if we can find this place. I mean, there was a gold marker on the map, which has me think, oh, maybe there's some sort of treasure there. And this poor donkey, I think that's a donkey, I'm not really sure, is stuck. Can I help the donkey? I push him. There we go. Uh, he might be able to get out. He might be able to... No, he's... Oh, poor guy. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, we got... Uh, we got that thing. Let me just drop down for a second. Now, where was this marker? I don't remember. Also, I have two skill points. I kind of forgot about that, too. There's a whole bunch of stuff I didn't realize the last time I played, but... <laughs> I was rambling quite a bit. What's this? What do we have? We have a note. Annoyed neighbor's note. Cannot sleep because of the digging below us. Like rats gnawing at my peace of mind. What do they expect to find down there? They'll feel the sharp end of my axe if it goes on much longer. I mean, kind of understand a little bit, but, you know, I've never been, like, that upset with stuff going on outside. Like, you know, you, you, you can have construction going on every now and then, but it's never been that terrible. Where, you know, you just want to kill the people. Like, oh, here's a chest. And so, you know, I should probably scan things more. So, this is all the way on the other side of town. I don't think that's where I should go. I mean, if anything, maybe heading towards this stair symbol might help. Yeah, it, it might be a while before we figure out what to do. What is this? I feel like I've already been down here before. Oh gosh. Oh god. Nope, definitely been here. Alright. So that's not the right way.
Um, let's go west. We'll, we'll head over here and see if I can recognize the place where we might have met that guy. The sketchy salesman. I don't remember if I mentioned this in the playthrough, like, if I actually talked about it, but I did put it in the video description, but he, the guy who we killed, who had like our father's uh, helmet or something, I don't remember. He had somebody's helmet because he ran away from the, uh, the whole incident that happened when we were younger. But, um, you know, he was selling a bunch of stuff and he's like, oh, this is from this legendary person. This is from this other person. It's like, it kind of reminds me of Mr. Krabs from uh, SpongeBob in the one episode where he was selling a bunch of trash because that's what he does. You know, do anything to quick make a quick buck. So he had this holy umbrella and this guy was trying to buy it and he was like... Uh, He's like, it's the Queen of Switzerland's. A queen, you say? Hey, wait, they don't have a queen. All right, Mr. Bargain Hunter. Five bucks. Deal. I don't remember if I had talked about that. <laughs> but that's what that guy reminded me of, because, you know. The value of items can go up if you just say they're from a famous person. For some reason. I mean, obviously, people want the things, but... Uh... I don't know. I don't know. I, I just wouldn't be spent. I wouldn't be willing to spend a whole bunch of money on something that some famous person used. You know, it's, it's like, whatever. Alright, this looks like a traitor, so I'm not gonna do that. We might have something. Aha. Is this it? Yes. What do we get? 20 silver and a ball of yarn. Totally worth it. <laughs> okay. Well, here's his place. Uh, I'm pretty sure we don't have to worry about using the key anymore. Uh, let's check. All right. What is this? A medallion signifying its bearer's allegiance to the Order of the Ancients embossed, embossed upon it is an image of Igis, Igis, oh geez. Yggdrasil, the mythical tree that connects the nine worlds. I should bring this back to Hytham at the Hidden One's Bureau in my settlement. Oh, okay. Oh, and we got a bunch of tattoos. I forgot about that. Was I working on trying to get another skill? I think I was trying to get the backstab, so... Do that. We'll make our way towards the backstab because I feel like that might be useful. So now we can go back home. I mean, I could try to get this treasure that's over here since I'm here, but eh, why not? Yeah, so we'll we'll, we'll try to find this thing. Actually, can I? There we go. This might help. <laughs> Hope things go a little bit faster. So we're going to find this thing and then we're going to uh, try to make our way towards the objective. Um, Alright, looks like we have something underground here. Not sure if there's like a staircase in here somewhere. Uh, well, we have some things that we can move around. Let's do that. Look at that. There we go. I'm trying to hide things. Um. Yeah, we'll we'll probably go see if we can find Haytham. We'll probably look at the tattoos a little bit, and then we can move on to England. Cause I've been wasting way too much time. Was that it? For the treasure? I guess it was. Alright. Actually, I could just fast fast around my way out of here, can I? Alright, apparently that was just the treasure. Alright, so... Let's figure out where we need to go. 
I'm gonna go here. And like I said, we'll we'll try to find Haytham and give him this medallion, see what happens. And then we'll try to uh look at that look at the tattoos that we got, because I completely forgot that we had them. <laughs> I mean that's that's why we've been chasing the paper around. Line paper also reminds me of Spongebob because there's an episode where uh, he plays with a piece of paper and Squidward wants it. Even though he's the one that threw it away because it was a gum wrapper. But, you know. I, I think the main thing we can learn from today is that I watch way too much Spongebob. And, uh, I don't think that's a problem. <laughs> Dude, Spongebob is honestly one of the best shows ever. Like the fact that I've been watching it for the past like 20 years. I mean, come on. Spongebob and The Simpsons, South Park. Pretty much my top three favorite shows. Still watch them pretty much every day because that's just what I do. Um, can I zoom in? No? Darn. I don't remember where the tattoo place is? Is this it? The guy's not here. Darn. Well. Can't do much about that. Um. Now, did it say where Haytham actually hangs out? Because I really don't feel like going around and trying to find stuff. Find st this guy. Uh, Hidden One's Bureau. Don't really know where the Hidden One's Bureau is. I imagine it would probably probably be hidden. And I imagine nobody's around here ready to talk to me just because we're all getting ready to leave. So we should probably just go. Oh, here's Haytham. I think, I think this guy is Haytham, but I'm not really sure. One of these guys is. But I guess we can't really do anything here because we need to leave, so... Uh, is there anything else that I was going to do? I was going to look at my upgrade. That's what I was going to do. Still not enough to upgrade my rations. I can try to upgrade my weapons or something, but I don't know. I always have this problem of not wanting to upgrade things because I'm afraid I'm going to get something better. Sail, yep. I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. What does that mean? Are we in trouble? What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. Stirbjorn Jarl. Our men were killed as we patrolled nearby. And the word is, Eivor swung the axe. If the dead could speak, what would they say of their deaths, Wolf Kissed? They would tell you how they offered us insults, and how I slew them for it. As the dead cannot defend themselves, a fair guilt is wanted. Fifty weight of silver for each life. By law. Fifty weight? You will have it from me. A parent must pay the price of his children's folly. That was generous, Lord. Why England? Why throw away all you have for such an uncertain future? Here you could be a king's hero, Eivor. Your name known all across Harold's many kingdoms. No. 
I'll not be captive to another man's gaudy design. My destiny is my own to weave. Eivor speaks for both of us, father. You gambled your honor, and you lost your family. I hope the trade was worth it. Anger and sadness wrestle for my heart. But I am glad you'll leave this place alive. You know, I'm not... Uh, I'm not really a big fan of Sigurd. Uh, I just don't like his personality that much. But I guess that's not... That's why I'm not really a leader. Hang on. Are the people back at... Uh, their places? Can I talk to people here? Or is everybody just like... Is everybody just gonna be leaving? I don't know, we'll see. That two guy? No? Alright. I guess we just have to leave. I don't know. It's just... Sigurd seems kind of... Like a... He's, he's kind of acting like a baby. He's like, eh, I can't be king, so I don't want to live here anymore. Eh. I don't know. It just seems kind of... Whiny. I, I, don't really, I don't really like it. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool! Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail from that. Draghi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! <laughs> okay. I guess that's one way to describe wind. Travels. I spent the season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England, glory and destiny. To England. To England. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The the first like five to six hours I've been playing has just been the opening sequence for this game. Oh man. Oh dear. It's like This is probably gonna be like the 15th video. <laughs> the 15th part. And we're just now starting the game? Who's this? Is this the person we're playing, like, in the present? Is this the person in the Animus? I'm gonna guess that... Yes. <laughs> this is the person in the Animus. Because usually... Like, the old Assassin's Creed games had a, uh... They had... You know, an... Animus section. Uh... A setting that's in the present. So, oh, yep. All right. And I guess we smoke. All right. That looks kind of dangerous. I don't know, there's something about cigarettes in a... what looks like a cabin made out of wood. Looks pretty dry here. Oh, is that the assassin symbol? I don't know. Hmm. Yep. Cigarette fell. 
Dude. Anytime they show like a cigarette, they they put a cigarette down for a second. Something always ends up happening where the fire breaks out or something. I wouldn't be surprised if this cabin burns down. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes. Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. Uh oh, what is that? Earthquake? How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Oh. Hmm. I wonder if this is Eivor. I mean, they got the shield. I didn't think Vikings were, like, buried. I thought they were sent out to sea and then you burn their ship. And then they basically get cremated at sea, kind of. But, I don't know. Maybe, You're maybe things are different. Home, Eivor. Mm. It is Eivor. Interesting. So, yeah, I was wondering if we were going to end up in a uh, present day segment and it looks like we are so it's gonna be kind of like the good old Assassin Creed games so yeah I, I think I think the original guy was Desmond Miles I don't know 100% sure but the other day I was thinking and then all of a sudden Desmond Miles just popped into my head I'm like that sounds familiar walk into town then use this I mean hey look you got toilet paper so it's not that bad I mean at least you can wipe yourself you don't have to worry about uh, <laughs> skid marks or anything or using leaves you got some nice toilet paper look toilet paper seems like a luxury nowadays Oh, mint tea is not actually. I didn't tea realize we were going to walk into a cutscene. Infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec, and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Cool, I guess. I I'm gonna look around here and just... See what we have. We have a picture. That's quite nice. Soothing. Also, I should probably mention that, uh, you know, you shouldn't smoke. <laughs> I was gonna mention that, but, you know, I was trying to find the Isn't right time to say. say that. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. I mean, smoking's bad for your lungs. It's dangerous. There's a whole bunch of negative health effects. I mean... I know it's super addictive fridge, and everything, Sean? but of course. if you can, Remember, just stay away from smoking. Yeah, I learned that a 
actually recently, you know, tomatoes are supposed to be kept outside, not in the fridge. And it's like, what? Because <laughs> we've been keeping tomatoes in the fridge forever. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar and tattoo it on my leg. Yeah, don't forget to water the plants. But anyway, um, yeah, Smokey's is definitely not the best for you, so say what you can. Better to never start, because <laughs> it's definitely not worth it. Let's see what's on the laptop. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, look at this! It's an actual desktop. So, do we have anything? I don't know if these are like in order. From Rami Hassan to Layla Hassan, May 11, 2020. Thanks for clearing that. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it's actually kind of relevant to what's going on currently. Interesting. I don't have COVID. Okay, so this is from Layla on May 10th, 2020. I don't have COVID, no, and I'm well isolated. It's just three of us traveling together, staying out of sight. And then Rami says, thanks for clearing that up in such a pr profound detail. I'm sure I'll sleep soundly now. Sounds kind of sarcastic. All right, I think these ones are probably the earliest. Yeah, it's December 27, 2019. Almost a year ago. From somebody who we don't know. You have a gift and a curse. The gift of old blood, the curse of not understanding it. We can help if you help us. What you did is not your fault, but you must take responsibility for it. Otherwise, nothing gets done. One of us will contact you. If you miss us, you miss your chance. Who the fuck is this? I think I read this backwards. Oops. Would your favorite baseball team happen to be the Atlantis Eagles? And then... It's like, who the fuck is this? And then you go this whole spiel and I gotta remember to read like up instead of reading down just make sure okay so from the unknown person one last message after which all communication between us via this account or any other will cease thank you Avengers for updating let's go ahead and stop this recording so I can go play that just kidding. Not gonna, not gonna play that. Anyway, so they're gonna stop all communication. We have our own way of ways of talking, methods that cannot be sniffed or traced. Your previous team made this mistake. They knew the risks, but they were sloppy. Left traces of their activity on everything, digital fingerprints everywhere. That will not happen with us. My colleagues tell me the initial meeting went well. They are impressed if a little wary of the influence your new toy has on you, but they know better than most what it means to live with such a burden. I am curious to know more about this air of memories epithet. Epithet? Epithet? Not really sure how to pronounce it. It is not a phrase we have heard in all our decades of research. In a few weeks time, we will contact you once more. If you are interested in proceeding, follow our instructions to the letter. If you are not interested, or if you break any of our protocols, this will be the last time you hear from us. Take this to heart. The world is sick and getting sicker. The Earth's magnetic field is growing stronger. Satellites are falling from the sky. Earthquakes are getting more frequent. Famines are becoming more and more frequent. And now we have credible reports of a new and deadly virus sweeping through Asia. It can feel like we're living through a Yichin nightmare. Mere anarchy is loose, loosed upon the world. In many ways we are. But there is hope. There is a cure. Us. In the past few months we have come across something that may help, help us solve our most pressing problems. A message, a very promising message that may help us reverse the dire course we are on. If you want to be part of the solution, join us. If not, we wish you the best of luck. And she says, I'm ready. And then they say, good. And then, yeah. So we're going to, oh my God, there's so much reading. Layla to Rami. Rami, forgive the short email I wanted to call, but I'm not using phones right now and my time is limited. Short email. But it's like six paragraphs. One, two, three, four, five. I mean like five paragraphs. <laughs> I don't know. 
Uh, I'm still recovering from my trip. Things got out of hand and nothing went as, as expected. People got hurt. I told you it was for research and it was, but not for A. The truth is, I haven't worked with them for a few years. Okay, so that's probably the thing where they were talking about earlier. The satellite falling, uh, but I don't remember what the name of the company was. Long story, but I won't bother you with the details, but it wasn't for me. Leave it at that. Group I'm with now, can't, I can't explain, not over email, but they've shown me things, given me opportunities, and opened my eyes to a broader view. But not without cost. In fact, I fucked up last year. Bad. More than once, I need to make it right. I know all this sounds cryptic. It is. But I'm not in danger, not in the way you think. You might think. If I'm being vague, it's because I need to be. I, didn't, I don't want any data sniffers picking up on keywords that might raise alarms. Do I sound paranoid? Little. Here's the point. Don't worry about me. I'm with a couple people who I trust now. They've been at this longer than I have, and they're going to see me through this. I promise. At this time next year, things will be better. The skies will be clear. Earthquakes will stop, and we'll celebrate Ramadan together. It'll be just like the 90s all over again. Tell Mama and Baba I miss them, and then I'm doing fine. Your sis, L. Okay. Oops, I forgot to read the first, or the response. Uh, Alright. I don't like the sound of any of this, Layla, and I'm not, and I don't like where this is leading. Not using phones is not the right way to ease my mind. You have my number, I suggest you call it. And no, I won't say hello to our parents for you because doing so would bury me in questions I cannot answer. And to tell father that you no longer worth for Abstergo would break his heart. That's, that's the name, Abstergo. That's all he ever talks about. How his daughter is on the cutting edge of neuroscience. The man doesn't understand the first thing about what you do or did, and he's still proud. I will not be the one to disappoint him. Is it COVID? Is that why you're being cagey? Something else? Call him. Call me. And stop this insane game of hide and seek. I just want to know that you are safe. Ram. Okay. And that's when she says I don't have COVID. Okay. So, newest messages will appear on top. That's generally how emails work. So... I wasn't sure, just because, you know, you don't know how they're going to organize things in their games. I'm not going to read all this shit. <laughs> I don't really feel like it. I'll skim through it. Leave it on the screen for a bit so you guys can read it if you want. You can also pause the video. But uh, I, I really don't want to sit here, read this stuff all day.